Okay, it's that time of year. We gotta get our snowblower ready for the winter season. You know, I've got an electric start on my snowblower, but you know how that goes. If that breaks, we have to use this uh, manual rope recoil. And after uh, doing my annual maintenance, I noticed I got some fraying here, and I also got some fraying uh, over here on the end. So that that sure as heck is going to break after a couple pulls. So. What we want to do is we want to get ourselves some rope that is suited for the job. You know, don't try to use clothesline or anything like that. It's just not going to work. This is this is good nylon rope. And go to your hardware store. Bring the recoil with you. You know, it's only going to take you about three to four screws to get it off, depending on the model. And uh, try to match it up the best you can. Okay? And... Uh, when you cut it and bring it back home, just use a Bic lighter to melt the end so it doesn't fray. But uh, we're going to show you that this is not a big project. It's it's even not that big a deal if the rope is already broken. And uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is, uh, if your rope is still intact and in the recoil, you're going to want to pull on that rope until it stops, and you'll see your knot here. And then put a screwdriver in here so it doesn't go spinning back on you. Now, if for some reason your rope is already broken, just start turning this counterclockwise, okay, until you can't turn it anymore, and then come back probably a, a half to one turn. So this hole here where your knot is gonna be is lined up where the uh, rope is going through the hole on the recoil. Uh, once you get that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rope and we're just gonna cut it here and after we do that we're gonna take our new rope we're gonna feed it through we're gonna make our knot and uh, you know don't make the knot too close to the end you can see this one here it uh, you know it's probably got an inch there and uh, you know what I would do is I would do a double knot so once you do that then we're going to be able to pull our screwdriver out and uh, we'll continue that okay, so we cut off our old rope and we got rid of that and uh, we carefully fed that rope through and you know stick your finger in there if you have to to guide it to that hole once you get it through there we're going to tie a knot and then we're going to do another knot behind that to keep it in place so now we're ready to just put this knot in place and release the recoil now if i take this i'm doing this one-handed so what we want to do is let the recoil Go back until it stops. You know, you're going to need, uh, I would say, get seven foot of rope. It sounds like excess, but it's really not because if you end up getting three or four feet, every time you go to start the motor, the rope's going to come to an end and it's going to break, sure as anything. So uh, keep yourself seven feet. So there we are. You know, we still got tension. Okay, so now all you have to do is we've got to uh, cut that rope off that handle. And uh, not that through. So let's uh, we'll put our screwdriver back in here so it doesn't suck the rope onto the reel, and we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, a little tip here. You know, you cut your rope off, and sometimes that knot is packed in there pretty tight. So all you got to do is uh, grab a pair of needle nose pliers and push from the backside, and that rope will pop right out. Okay, same deal. What you do is uh, make sure you burn off the end so it doesn't fray after you cut it. Uh, on your seven foot length, then tie a knot, and then uh, it's just a half inch knot, and uh, tie another knot right behind it so it doesn't come undone, and then all we have to do is release the tension on the recoil with that screwdriver, and uh, you know, you might be able to push that knot in a little farther, it'll, it'll work its way back in on its own, but uh, that's it. Now if you feel that that's too much sticking out after you push the knot in, you could trim it, but I would I would leave at least a half an inch and make sure you burn it off again. Okay, and uh, there's the finished product. I screwed it to my table because I'm working one-handed here. But uh, now you've got yourself a, a new recoil rope on here. Uh, another tip you may want to do is if you find you've got a lot of rust right where the rope is going in, take a little piece of sandpaper and smooth that up because that extra abrasion is going to wear that rope. And uh, that'll last a little longer if you smooth that up a little bit. Now, if for some reason you get all done and you find out that your, you know, your recoil isn't going back in quite as snappy as you want, no big deal. Just pull it out another maybe uh, four or five inches, put your screwdriver back in, 
cut your rope off, tie another knot so you've got a little more tension on that. But that's it. It's that easy. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our Pompano Brownie channel.